Hello everybody, my name is Styx and I'm very very happy to show you a very special game today which I've been excited about for quite a while now Remothered Tormented Fathers It is developed by the Italian studio Daryl Arts and uh, they've been so kind to yeah, to give access to a closed beta and also um, allowing me to show you the let's play in the footage. And so while we're playing, keep in mind that this is still a beta version of the game, so there's probably still some work left to do. Anyway, even the menu already looks really, really good. Uh, I didn't do anything here up until now except taking a look at the settings uh, so we're gonna jump right in if you want to check them out I'm gonna post a link to their Facebook page and to the official homepage right down in the description so be sure to go there if you like the game Reach the residence of Dr. Felton. Okay, so we're in the middle of the game. Looking quite good so far. Let's take a look around. Check out the playground. Okay, I. I gotta say uh, right now that I'm really, really into the soundtrack and the atmosphere of this game. Okay, we can we can also sprint, so that's nice. Uh, okay, let's take it up. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
Is there... Sounds like a train or something. Real beautiful out here. Okay, let's see if we just gotta... Move forward. Do we, do we have a map or anything? No, we don't. Okay. So, okay, we don't... Doesn't look like we're uh, getting in there through that door. So maybe on the other side. Because I guess right here, uh, we're able to go into beautiful nature, at least a bit, but... Uh, we gotta reach this guy's residence right now. By the way, so that game is about uh, Rosemary Reed. That's the woman we're playing as right now. Uh, I didn't quite get into what the rest of the story is about since I want to keep my experience as clean as possible. Hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? Okay. We don't seem to be really welcome here. Okay, we can probably try to get in there anyway. Unlocked. Nice. Okay, I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of old residences, of old houses. It's really an old atmosphere, but that really, really reminds me of uh, Stephen King's Rose Red. If anybody watched that. Uh, so that's not a good sign. Maybe let's let's take a look around in the garden before we head in. Just so we don't miss anything. And get to know the place a little better before anything bad happens. Which is probably bound to happen. Okay, so the owner definitely has a lot of money lying around. Okay, let's let's step inside. I uh, wonder how the residents will react upon us entering. Besides, basically being told to get the hell out of here, which probably would have been a Pretty good idea. Okay, so that seems to still belong to the garden. What's that? Okay. But it seems like uh, it hasn't got a lot of care in the past few days. Okay, let's see if we can get in. Through here. Knock knock. Hello? The gate was open. Are you there? Hello? Is anyone there? Okay, so that seems to be a dead end. By the way she runs, I'm guessing that she doesn't really want to be here either. I understand that, Rosemary. I really, really do. But you gotta care for patience, don't you? Okay, who's barking at me? Where are you, doggy? Probably outside the building, hopefully. Otherwise, we will be charged dead in a few seconds. So that is a. 
really big house. Okay, so that that looks more like an entrance. Got a taste for pretty creepy statues. All right. told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Civil War Institute. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents. I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's pathology. Oh, no, please. I I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Thank you. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. So. But still, there are two bots in the ashtray. Interesting. Okay, so we're finally inside. Okay. Please, this way. Thank you very much. Have it. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day, I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But, you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. That doesn't strike you as odd. But okay. So, is it long until we reach him, or how does this go? Oh. This way, please. Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay. So, I guess we'll spend our waiting time snooping around a little bit in Mr. Felton's office. Well, it would be too easy. Wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God. 
Bird and aptitude are mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But, pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please, sit down. Dr. Reed, I suppose. Uh, sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. Uh, I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria, yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No, thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes, indicatively. Some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? Overdose of non-prescribed drugs? Opiates? Anoxal? Wasn't it recalled in the myths of... Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs without any prescription. Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gala. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected the kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan. An idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed. Young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with... Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No, I... My Mr. Daughter. Felton, what has really happened to your daughter? I just told you! How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate... I don't have the strength for this now! I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to... What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question. The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... Do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Miss Reed, that is your real name. Your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. Do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. 
A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Okay now, so this is just straight up home invasion at that point, but I guess we really gotta find out what happened to Celeste and or Jennifer. Okay, first off, let's find Mrs. Felton. Okay, so that's... Ah, uh, we should remember where that is. Probably will come in handy later on. Should be behind that door. Yeah, crap. So let's probably look for a key. Anything in here? Doesn't look that way. Okay. Don't make too much noise, girl. Okay, so I mean it's it's definitely to our right. Or is it I think when we were in the office of Mr. Felton uh, we heard the tune from upstairs, so Okay, so here we can hide. I said don't 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 breathe so hard. That's okay. Okay, all good, all good, we good, okay. Okay, so we can take vases. Okay, we found something here. A defense item, okay, so that's... That's probably not... Not wrong to have something like that. Because I, I already read that... Uh, we can't really do anything lethal in that game. So, sneaking is really important here. So, shh, be careful. Be real careful. here. Damn it! Okay. 
that, so... Is it in the walls or something? I, I really have trouble identifying where exactly it comes from. I, I guess we should... something's in here. Scissor. Can we take more than one item? Yeah. Or no? I... No. We only have one item at a time. Okay, let's carefully step inside the office again. Or not. God damn it. Okay, we, we gotta find Mrs. Felton soon. Because that tune is really starting to get... What is that? A diversion item? Okay. Comes from the chimney, doesn't it? It's, it's really loud and it's getting really annoying. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's... I didn't see anyone so far, so let's take it up a notch. No, we looked into here. That's where we found the uh, defense item. Maybe downstairs. Come on. Ah, shit. Who in the world locks every single door at their own home? I mean, who would even... Who would even break into a house like that? Oh, wait. Uh, okay, maybe close it again. I don't want anybody finding out we're snooping around. But what do you need? Do we need the key? Do we need... Anything to break it open. Uh, but I guess that's that's probably the door we want to get into. Damn it, what the hell do we need for? Yeah, sorry, I... Okay. Uh, let's let's just look around a little more in the house. Maybe we find maybe maybe we're going to find a key or something. That's the the only logical thing I can think of right now. Okay, so hates smoking, but apparently loves the cigars. Okay, we can hide in here again. Ah, oh, okay, we. We read that before that we can save here. Let me do that real quick. Okay, restore life. I think nothing happened to us at that point. That's a cup. Maybe there's something in the cupboard. Just let me check everything. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, nothing. Oh, come on. Does it have to be the same old song over and over? Apparently. Okay, let me close that again. Okay, I found another brick. Apparently inside of a closet.
Who are they? Maybe some Dr. Falcon's distant relatives? Could be, could be. I guess we're gonna find out. Just another... Okay, can we... Oh, sorry. Oh, I even have a flashlight, that's good to know. Okay, so... Just found out how we can use diversion items. Let's see if that is unlocked. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Maybe here? Oh, come on, there's gotta be at least one door that's able to open. Okay, another scissor. Okay, so at that point I don't think that we find anything inside the closet. Uh, it's gotta be something more obvious I probably miss. Okay, just a towel. Pretty nice if we get wet, if we could step outside right now, but not much use for what we're trying to do. Okay, nothing. Come on, give me something. Uh, let's take a look again at that kind of uh, mission tab. Maybe maybe we got some hint here. Nah, nothing else. Anything at skills? No, we can't even access that right now. Okay. What do we have here? That's... No, that's just a needle or something? Thought maybe it was a key. But it's not. Okay, come on. We we did not have all night, so uh, everything up until now was locked. So I guess uh, I will be looking around in the second floor a little more and hope that we don't run into Mr. Felton because I'm pretty sure he won't be too happy to see us. No matter what that, uh, no idea what's that supposed to be. Old clothes or something. Okay, so that is a big house. How big can a house be? Jesus Christ. Ah, there we go. Okay, shit. Psycho, we gotta hide. Yeah, come on, run. Get in there. Freaking necrophiliac. 
shit. Okay. What happened, my dear? The record player got jammed again, right? Yes, I know. You, you keep on telling me we need to buy the new gadgets on the market. Promise, promise, promise. How can I say no to you? Now get some rest, love. My little Jennifer. Jesus. Okay, let's wait till we... Oh. Oh, God. Okay. So that guy's a nut job. <laughs> Shit. Let's say, let's see that we get the hell out of this, out of this house. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's probably a good idea. And we're gonna do that next time. So, say goodbye to Mrs. Falton for today. And... Uh, I'm going to just hide out here for a while. Okay guys, see you next time. Goodbye.